Well, a passion for one sweet treat and a sense to help bring together an unbreakable community. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick traveled to Clendenin to see what's so sweet. With temps nearing 100, one local food joint doing extremely well on an extremely hot day. Yeah, that'd be it. For the Evans, giving the word community a delicious meaning after the June 2016 flood through people's guilty pleasure, greasy food. We just opened one day in January. We didn't have a grand opening. We just turned on a light and started serving food, and everyone has been supportive, and we've been busy since. And we're here now. When Jeannie and her husband take a step back to look at their accomplishment, it's not about the business itself, but the happiness it brings people. <laughs> but when my picnic tables have families sitting at them and there's kids running and playing and eating ice cream, that is uh, that's when it's all worth it. When the people are here and it looks alive and vibrant again, that's when it brings back the memory about what it looked like after the flood. I get emotional, but just <laughs> seeing the people happy. Everyone, everyone, if you was part of this town, suffered through the flood. Even if your home didn't get flooded, you knew people who did, and you know the locals. And the, it was just a sad time for everybody. So any, anything that brightens the, the the future for people around here is welcomed. On a hot day like today, the happiness that a banana split brings conquers all. In Clendenin, West Virginia, Gilly Kosick, 13 News, working for you.